Hey everyone, today we're going to check out the newest bundle from Rost Sounds. We have a few different contact libraries here. Remember, they all require contact full. So we're going to walk through some of them and show you what you get. So we'll start with Cinescapes here. I think this is very interesting to have. This is Cinescapes uh, Noise and Ambiences. And these are kind of like nature sounds or like the ambience from a market. Now the other instrument in Cinescapes is this rhythmic patterns. These are more tonal, so let's check those out. While the other one was kind of just environments and ambience, this is more uh, kind of electronic almost. So you can hear those are, you know, kind of more synthy, uh, more electronic as we uh, scroll through those from Cinescapes. Now we have, uh, let's check out Indian Rhythms. This is, uh, they'll have rhythmic loops and patches like that. But if we go in and click here to go through the instruments that are uh, included in here, we have patterns, and then you also have solo instruments, uh, just solo drums, natural patterns, process loops, cinematic patterns, um, stuff like that. So we can use it as a rhythmic loop just like this. And then you'll notice I start stacking different rhythmic loops here. And then if you look at these patterns down here, this is using these solo instruments. So you have different banks of these instruments that you can uh, choose from. This one's called Cinematic Solo, so it, they're a bit more roomy and sound a bit more processed. Ding, 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 ding. 
so they've got those different even those like little vocal patches as well and you can you know make your own rhythmic patterns with this And you can stack them with the rhythmic loops as well. So while that was uh, Indian rhythms, we also have Mideast rhythms, which is the same uh, concept, the same with rhythmic patterns and loops, as well as solo instruments and phrase builders and process loops as well. So we can do the same kind of thing with the Middle Eastern percussion or Mideast rhythms as well. Uh, this one I just, you know, made a little custom pattern here. So that was, you know, just a little quick rundown of the different rhythmic percussion libraries. We also have process loops. We want to check that out real quick. So you have, you know, quite a diff, uh, a nice selection here from natural as well as process sounds. Here's some of the natural patterns. And then cinematic patterns. So again, nice variety there. Uh, let's go in. We have African vocals. That's a smaller library. Um, I just use a little chant from that here towards the end. Uh, but they also have, you know, some kind of solo voices and choirs and stuff. You can just hear that kind of uh, chanting in the background there. You also have chants. So those, when it says chant play, those will be um, pitched depending on which key you press. Then you have phrases here. And then you also have, uh, you know, longer phrases, patterns, stuff like that, and just some spoken words. So that was one of the songs, you know, a longer uh, melodic phrase there. It's some pretty cool stuff 
Now let's go on and check out the Duduk and the Shakuhachi, uh, the two wind instruments. So here in this song, I just used uh, some phrases from them. So we'll check out the phrases, and then we also have a playable instrument where you can write your own melodies with it. Uh, let's just start with this, how I used it with the phrases. So those were some of the phrases, you know, they're mapped across the keys. But you can also click here and go um, just uh, different uh, sustains, such as they also have a bass to duke as well. This is just medium vibrato. So a nice vibrato, a uh, little velocity or dynamic swell with the vibrato, uh, very expressive. Here's just sustains. So just a flat note, no of uh, a dynamic swells and no vibrato. Then we have a bass to duke. And then we have shorts and phrases as I was using in the actual track. So you get a lot of uh, usable stuff there. I really like that. And then finally, Shakuhachi. Same kind of premise where we have vibrato and sustains. Those are kind of overblown. And you get a lot of those really kind of primal sounding effects, which this instrument does so well. So those are kind of phrases, but it's called loops, as you can hear, it repeats that as it's uh, playing through, it repeats it twice, and it's a nice kind of uh, loop point where you can use those in not just, you know, but cinematic music, but for kind of uh, hip-hop productions as well, it would do really nicely in that. And then finally we have the final instrument is called the C Black Sea Flutes, I believe. Let's check that out. Yep, Black Sea Flutes. We looked at this one a little bit in the live stream yesterday, so let's check it out. We have a Zerna and a Tutek. A Tutek, I don't know exactly how to pronounce it, as is commonplace with a lot of these uh, foreign instruments, so I try the best. And the Zerna sounds like a, you know, almost like a snake charmer instrument. That one sounds more like a, you know, what you would think of as a flute. Um, so let's check out some of the patterns here.
So you have those phrases there. Um, with pretty much all of these, you get phrases as well as playable instruments and one shots. So basically, you can hold down one key for, let's say, for the percussion libraries. You can hold down one key and have that rhythm play um, and stack them all together so you get that natural performance. Or you can go in just like this and program your own using the one shot. So when you open up the instrument, make sure to go here and really explore all of the different content because if you don't really go through all of these different categories you're missing out on a lot um, so that was a quick look at everything that's included here so you get you know rhythmic percussion uh, you get playable deduke and shakuhachi uh, phrases as well as you know the playable instruments with the the sustains and the vibrato and everything so you can write your own melodies you're not stuck to a predetermined phrase and then we have cinescapes with that ambience remember the nature sounds as well as the kind of rhythmic patterns there, kind of more synthy electronic sounds. And then finally, the Black Sea Flutes, which is two separate instruments here. Again, make sure you explore all of the articulations and content provided because we have effects, patterns, and playable instruments, short and long notes as well. And finally, the African vocals, which I didn't use as much, but that will give a nice spoken word or singing uh, to your production. So that was a quick look at it. A lot of very unique textures and ambiences and sounds to be found in the Ross Sound Bundles that you really can't get elsewhere. Very natural, very raw, but also some pretty cool process sounds as well. So thanks for checking this one out with me. I will see you guys next time. Stay tuned for more.